Hello YouTube. Today we'll be testing out different types of copier softwares. So I have copy handler here, fast copy, tera copy, and the ultra copier. And also I will be testing out the super copy as well. So let's go ahead and see which drives that we will be using today. So my main internal drive will be the Samsung SM961, and uh, it's an NVMe. So the external drive which is connected by uh, USB 3 will be Samsung Portable T5. So the NVMe has the C and D, the Samsung T5 has F. So you can see the C drive and the F drive. I have made folders there. So let's go ahead and see the temperatures of the drives so we can get an understanding. Before that actually let's see the folders that we are going to copy today. Uh, the first folder which has about 13,000 files in it is a react project and the second is a movie which is about 3 GB and the next is a TV series which has about 54 GB in it and the next is a movie which has about 6 GB. So let's see the sensors now, the temperatures. The temperature of the uh, Samsung NVMe will be at about 40 and the Samsung T5 will be at about 30. So I'll try to keep them at those levels when we start the tests. And in the task manager side, we can see the disk transfer rate and also the usage for the F drive, which will be bottlenecking while copying. All right, let's go ahead and benchmark those drives. Let's start with the D drive which is the NVMe. You can see this is pretty fast so we can get the idea of the transfer rate of this one but this will be not the transfer rate when we copy to the T5. So let's go ahead and see the actual rates that we'll be getting by benchmarking the T5. So now you can see the maximum writing speed of the external drive. So let's go ahead and start testing the Windows default copier which comes with Windows actually. So I will drag these files one by one to the folder in the external drive. So let's see what will happen. Now as we have something to compare with, let's go ahead and see how other copiers perform. I'll be starting off with TerraCopy first.
Now fast copy also has a feature of doing the copy jobs parallelly just as the windows copier. So let's see how it performs when we switch on parallel copying. This version of Super Copy has an error in it. I tried it twice, but both of the times the same error came up. When you have multiple copying jobs, the last job of the list will be stuck at a point. So you can't go ahead after that. So the last option is to try another version of the Super Copier. I found the version 1.6, so let's try it. In the last test, let's go ahead and see the final results. I have to apologize. Miss Universe 2015. These are the results, so I'll leave it to you to decide which is best. Thank you for watching. Meet you in the next one.